June 15, 2020, today. Today I will explain to you how the Poland with me in my life, how Poland started. I'm going to go from the beginning and I will explain to you every stage. The word is going to be about Valencia today and Kaczynskis. Valencia, Kaczynskis, Duda Morawiecki team, uh, about the KGB, about Bill Clinton, about whom, by, uh, especially I have a lot more to say about Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, who actually murdered Tupac, the police officer who investigated Tupac, was a police officer involved in NK Ultra. Black people did find out about my case in the US. They found about this neo-Nazi agenda very, very early, actually. And when I look at the date of his death, it was 1996. Tupac, when he found out about my case, became very violent, have threatened with death. You have a whole bunch of people that were involved in the background of this MK Ultra case. Actually, entire Hollywood was involved in this stuff. When you see these actors, take them with a little bit. No, they're not actors only. They are promoters of something. Some promote some things, others promote other things. It's up to you, whatever your call might be in respect to that, that case. But right now, we're going to go to the Bill Clinton and we're going to go to Valenza. Valenza was individual on the power at the same time as Bill Clinton was. He was here in the Poland. Bill Clinton was in the United States of America. And this is extremely, extremely important for me because today we have Joe Biden on a political scene. For something I was told that if Biden is not going to be, things are going to go for really, really bad in the U.S. Eventually it's going to be... Donald Trump, I was threatened with who's going to win the elections. This is okay. This is okay because the most important part here is to acknowledge the country for what the country is. It does not really matter who is on a political stage. To use the word representing one is like it's an overstatement, it's exaggeration. These people do not represent American people. These people mislead American people with issues of money and with issues of abuse. A black society today in the U.S. is the most abused society in the world. There is no society in the world that is more abused than black society in the U.S. And it doesn't matter to me where, how you look at this, they're abused so much, so severely, that now, actually, they came out on the streets and they have expressed their satisfaction, really, with something that, in my personal taste, everybody should support them for that matter. But then again, you're going to have a whole bunch of people, completely fake people, that basically break through the firewall. Firewall is the wall that you set for certain people that you deselect them out. And then there are certain people who will do certain stuff just to break through the firewall. They're going to make themselves look like they are like legitimate. They're like okay people. And once they are on the other side, it's something else. They start to grow basically in the rear of your mind. And that's exactly the case with Joe Biden. <laughs> I don't think with anybody more, he served under Clinton. He served under both Bushes. He served under, not only under Donald Trump, but also under Barack Obama. And under Barack Obama, things went so wrong. If you think about Ukraine, and they went wrong also in other parts of the world because he didn't have any control. Because he was just on the stage and it was other people that were running the whole day game already in the background prior to his arrival, basically. And throughout his stay on a political stage, he did not know really what went on. It's that kind of stuff. I'm not going to say that it's important for the closest associates to know who you deal with, which basically Bill, which Joe Biden was, but 
I mean, it's important for other people to know as well. It's very difficult to be a president of the U.S. I have pointed out what my view, my, my vision for the U.S. would be if that would be ever considered on a political level, but I'm afraid, well, you know, the time is going to show everything. Uh, the time probably what's going to happen is, is going to demonstrate, the timeline probably is going to demonstrate maybe even Donald Trump winning, maybe it's going to demonstrate Joe Biden winning. Okay, regardless of which one of these two candidates is going to be, the black people are going to stay oppressed. And nobody can cause more damage to the system where people are located than the person that is fake, that is false person, is a false prophet. That's actually, like in this case, would be actually appointed based on such a severe abuse, killings, all kinds of stuff that went on against, based completely on racial issues. And it's Latino people that are affected too. It's not only black, and it's Jews, and it's Slavic people, and it's all kinds of people. It just is going according to categorizement. First is one group they destroyed. That's what I was teach. That's what they teach me. After that one is destroyed, it's another race, another ethnicity that is targeted and so on. This is how it works. This is what their plan is. And so what exactly America can hope for now at this point in time is for the pe fake person to become a U.S. president that is going to fakely uh, gesture to the world, oh, look, the Nazi they put him, we put him away, we rejected the Nazism, but the truth is, the fact of the matter is that the U.S. is just a drop on this planet. There are many other countries, rising countries such as India, China, without which humanity was without in the past. We didn't have nothing. It was the Soviet Union, Russia, Eastern Europe was the main opposition to this neo-Nazi politic from the West. Now things have changed. Now you have already other countries that are raising up. And it's extremely important to continue to acknowledge one for what we have seen the country actually stands for. And we have seen on every corner, on every step of the way, we have not seen anything other than Nazism, fascism, discrimination. We have seen America for the first time since the Lincoln, I'm going to say, for what really the country is. It's as divided as possibly can be. This is what this is. It's a Nazi state. It's a state run by the fascists. And it should be acknowledged by the global community as such in support of minorities in the U.S. till something really, really changes. That's basically what they can hope for. But I'm going to tell you that the Nazis, the fascists who first participated in business negotiations in the Eastern Europe, they would not even allow normal people to come close to the table, to the negotiation table, to the business table. If you did not participate in that Nazi circle, you would not even get to Poland. You would not get where the major deals were. You could observe this, you could talk about it, but you were just not invited. You would not get anywhere. They make sure that the Nazis got this. They got this, and all you can hope for is for a false prophet to come to the political stage. In other words, they became wealthy, financially wealthy, from what it used to be, a somewhat equality during the last trade between the East and West. They empowered themselves financially. They now have the money. They now have the instruments that will be used against humanity. It's not only against the black people in the U.S. It's not against Hispanic. It's not against all others. It's going to target China, it's going to target India, it's going to target every country on the planet. Russia, especially Russia. Divide and conquer game. Again, through the false prophets, they have helped to stand up on political, you know, stay, basically, and stand up and stay on the political arena, basically. Well, we have a major, major change is coming to place. The statue of Churchill attacked in Britain 
basically the legacy of the World War II, the flat show of freedom of the British people, nixed, voided by the Buckingham Palace. And it's fascinating when the truth is coming out about the worst, about the deepest abuse within European Union itself, right inside of this European Union. And nothing is being done about it by any member state. And we have so many member states we have. And nothing really is going on. Do you know who created all this? How it all started? It started like this. In 1995, the first who got involved in this case, prior to anybody, were Germans. Germans were the one they got a hold of me. Germans were the one even took me to the Europe before the Eastern Europeans got a hold of me. They were in a complete, complete, complete control of it. Jews learn about the case. Israel, state of Israel, got, uh, learn about it and alerted others about what went on. It was the Israel that alerted Russia, that alerted Eastern Europe, that panicked about what went on, basically. But before they got, it was the Germans who did. It was United States of America, obviously this was in the US, and it was the Germany, the one with the US that were deeper in the bed with the US than anybody else, Berlin. And so what happened? Instructions were for me to reject. Brainwashed under MKUltra on a facial issues, who looks what, how look what, this and that. I got the whole school, Nazi school under MKUltra, about the face, facial recognitions of the people. What makes people different look, and so on and so forth. Taken to the Germany, taken to Denmark to visit a Nazi over there, American Nazi. Brought back to the US, and it's where Mrs. Kwasinska now, this is the lady of the president, Polish president, who replaced Valenza, became involved through the KGB. Uh, the KGB dudes were Violent, violent stuff went on. Unpleasant stuff went on. They had the reasons, I'm not going to deny this, to, to look at me in a strange way because of what went on. They had no clue about what went on, really. Nobody really understood what went on. And the easy way, easier than to understand, is to condemn an individual. This is all in 1995. Actually, this is in early 1995 as soon as I would be coming off the ship. You're talking about maybe Kwasinska got involved in this stuff sometimes, I would say, as early as maybe just month, two months after upon my arrival to from the ship to apartment on Miami Beach where I would start to stay with my ex-wife from Ecuador, Indian actually. So they got themselves on a scene and she was one of them and I have completely rejected them. I didn't want to have anything to do with them. And what they would do is they would bring like a woman that would be appealing woman. And when this woman was young, this was very appealing woman. That how did I don't like it and this and that and tra la 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 la. So they had the connection between the Poland, between the Russia, and between the United States of America and the Bill Clinton's administration already in 1995, a lot of stuff went on. But by the Putin alone, I was told that the, this connection between the US and them already went already far back. There was all kinds of stuff that went on between them, all kinds of cooperations behind the Iron Curtain, curtain, whatever curtain. And what happened was, do you like this? Do you want this? Do you? Do you? BS is what happened. Yes, like it. Yeah. She came to visit like this several times with other Eastern European politicians, of which one individual was, I think, I'm pretty sure, he was a KGB individual, but I am not completely certain. Was it a Russian from Russia or was it a Russian? actually somewhere from the US, 
his English was almost like completely fluent. I think his English was fluent. He had a shorter hair and his hair already was gray. I can completely give a total picture of him, but the possibility is individual was actually maybe even Polish. I have no idea who this individual was. All I know for is from the beginning in early stage of MK Ultra, this individual was involved in it all the time, all the time. This was a slender individual. Um, slender, I can give a very good picture, demonstrate basically what he looked like. He kind of, very difficult to say. More likely, I don't know, maybe of the Polish descent, I have no idea. American, maybe of the Polish descent, I have no idea who this was. He supposedly that he was on my side. And it was like this until sometimes 98, something like this, when he turned against me because of my views becoming more and more and more extreme, 98, 99, something, when he no longer could handle the whole thing and so on and so forth. Well, this is a story I have heard million times. I never was assisted in anything, but this was a story that just repeated and repeated, and it basically just washed and washed and washed time and time again. And so sometimes in 1995, I was brought to Poland. Prior to my arrival to Poland, Kwasinski, it would be a Kwasinski, and it would be also other politicians, other, other politicians. They would come to the U.S. Which politicians this were, to tell you, to be frank about it. Kaczynski definitely was, Kaczynski's definitely were. Kwasinski, Kwasinski was. Kwasinski was one of the agents that was deeply rooted into this stuff. This, I would have to look further into it. It does not come right now. These are the people I remember, and I don't want to say something that I'm not absolutely certain about it. They would appear in MK Ultra scenarios. They would come, visit, so on and so forth. This is how Kwasinski met his wife. She became his wife later. I'm not sure, was it before he was elected or was it after he was elected? The only thing I know is that it was a Bill Clinton who insisted on issues of facial recognition. It was, everything was done under the Bill Clinton. I was taken to Israel, told that I will have to marry Israeli woman. They would get on the picture. Who knows what else they would get on the picture? Maybe they got on the picture black people. Maybe they got on the picture, who knows whom they got on the picture. Now, you're coming from the country that is non-multicultural, plus I'm not the person used to that somebody would tell me, you are to marry this person. The people they would use, nothing against black people, nothing against Jewish women or something like this. Many are pretty, but the people they would use would be Whenever it was due something like this, they would, they would, situation that I will explain to you, they were to present, they would use the people that were not appealing, straightforward. Something that I did not go to the U.S. as ambitious individual at age 23 to accomplish, basically. This was not the idea about the life. You don't do this to the young man like this. You're going to do this. And so that already was bad. The worst thing about this stuff was individual, the KGB individual, or was it a Polish individual, or was could be a central intelligence individual who dealt with the Eastern Europeans, presented me with an issue. This was really funny because it was Germans, you know? It was the Germans that 
brainwash, brainwash, brainwash on the facial issues, Germans and Americans. How do you see in the person what do you want? How do he looks white? How is this? What is white? What is the difference between Eastern European? Oh, it was not only that I am Slovene, filthy, dirty, Slovenian. If you look into the dictionary I was presented with in the face when I, upon my arrival to the US. Slav, slave. No, this was just something. They would bring the whole categorization of the people on the scene in the background MK Ochoa. They would give you like a school, like a facial profiling, total facial profiling brainwash. Who looks white? What kind of Eastern Europeans look white? What is to look in these Eastern Europeans? How they look white? Which one is not? Which one is ugly? What is the difference between them, between other races and so on? They would make you reject they would grow fascism in you, Nazism, rejection of your own people, basically. This is Bill Clinton. That's why this video is extremely important about the Lech Valenza. Before they got me on a scene, as I said, I will explain. Before they got me on the scene, they told me, be very, very, very careful be very, very careful with your selection of the candidate. Now we are going, now we are going on everything or nothing. We have very important, we started, we're gonna, uh, it's gonna be about negotiations and so on and so forth. This is gonna be extremely important for us. It's extremely important for us. Make sure you pay attention to what we have told you, to the blue eyes, to the face, to all of those issues so that when you when that you don't actually end up somewhere in the Israel, get married to someone like this, someone, someone whatever, Eastern European that looks like this, and so on and so forth. This is the brainwash. Then yes, then I was loaded on the plane. Then we came in the Poland. This was in 1995. On arrival to the Poland, and I think this was in the Poland. I think it was in the Poland. There will be a candidates. They are gonna be asking you which one of these candidates, in your personal opinion, is a suitable one for you from your point of view from your vision that would be from your point of view accepted as a candidate as someone that would be acceptable basically that you would say that you would sit at the table and you would like to see that you would like to deal with how do you see yourself basically uh, in eastern europe how where do you see yourself within this people who are the people you would want to be your family members, who would you interact with, who would you live around, and who would you not want to live around. This is going to be extremely important to us. We're going to pay attention to you. And again, pay attention to stuff we talked about. If you're not sure, I'd rather reject them, I'd rather reject them, reject, reject, reject. Be especially attentive to that so that you're not going to end up in some other country and so on and so forth. I regretfully, I have to say, Poland already was involved in that stuff because individual who was there who represented the Poland and everything, he was on the picture with this. He demanded this stuff. He wanted this stuff. It felt like he was an organizer of this stuff, but it was not. These Polish politicians were in the U.S. already. We pop up in Poland, and this is the way it was. I don't know which people they presented me with. The issues they, they pumped me with were scary enough. I had fear in my bones for my life. This is not usual that you get drugged up and subjected to this kind of treatment that eventually you are told, for which you are told that it's going to decide about your life. We were already in Poland and I'm decided between these candidates and it was Kwasinski, one of the people whom I already have seen already. 
and I decided for Kwasinski. Kwasinski did have face somewhat that would resemble, I don't know, German, something like this in that sense. And it was the Kwasinski who was uh, picked up as a president. And this is what I was told that I will be resented. But before we get to that, by Lech Valenza for me being a racist, stealing him actually presidency, discriminating against a Polish president, that I was a racist. With the Lech Valenza, basically, it's like this. Lech Valenza was in the picture already before. I have never rejected him. Lech Valenza had blonde mustaches. You understand? Blonde mustaches. He, he was like a classic American, basically. He actually reminded me of my boss from the wagon hut in certain ways. It's impossible. I would reject him. This is impossible. And I did not reject him. This is the thing. I did not reject him. I was actually even afraid of him. I did not know who this man is. And so they had to repeat the brainwash on several occasions. Bring him back. Take him away. Bring him back. Take him away. Bring him back teaching me basically how to reject him, and I guess record me that I eventually didn't want to have anything to do with him. Something like this. So this individual is a tattoon, is what we say in Slovenia. This is a thug, a thief, a Bill Clinton number two, the one with a long nose. Slovenian president now, Borut Pahor, was a Udba police officer, was an individual who would run Next to Milan Kuchan, the main politician in Slovenia, he was the one they grew for the next Slovenian president, for someone who would replace this individual, this Milan Kuchan. At that time, Borut Pahar was not even present yet. Soon after, he learned about and he, he got, they got him on a scene. The politicians who were participating the Leg Valenza rejection from my side, and it is this on several occasions. One of the politicians was Bill Clinton, and they had other, had other American politicians around me. So it is a question whether this actually took in Poland or actually that took place in the United States of America. But I think the final, which was about like two weeks maybe prior to the elections in the Poland in 1995, eventually was in Poland. I was brought into Poland. This is the truth about the Lech Valenza. Borut Pahor told me, you discriminated against the Polish president. You this, you that, you son of a bitch, you I don't know what. Well, Lech Valenza threatened to, they all got the kick out of it because it's not only important to suggest you know, to create a discrimination, fake discrimination, but it's also important to accuse, to stress, to bitch the person whom you have. Well, you know, I don't know what I want to do with you, Valencia, to tell you the truth. I have no idea what I want to do with you. When I only think about whom you have, what have you done? And he goes to the Borat Pahor, the same thing. Borat Pahor eventually insisted that I owe to, because they talk about the money, that I, that I owe to Valenza for discrimination. This was the biggest discrimination, but it was discrimination. It was basically marking individual as good as dead it was against me. I was the one who lost no less than 25 years of life because of Lech Valenza. The individual who ran next to Lech Valenza in the background, the same shit like in U.S., was Kaczynski. And Kaczynski already grew Morawiecki and Duda. And so now the only thing you have is a professional liars, a professional con artist, a murderers, assassins who are faking lying about absolutely everything. Germany watched all this shit. Americans watch all this shit, and they like it. According to the words of Angela Merkel, if they can do it, then we can do it too. 
look, I'm not even related to the Germans in any way, since I was asked if they deserve it, if they deserve it, Poles, if the Poles deserve it. I am related to the Poles. I am a Slavic person. They are Slavic people. All through, they don't, what they're doing is, I'm not going to say not benefiting anybody, not even them. It's fucking up entire Slavic society next to Poland. And where the, the whole thing is taken, the entire Slavic society is into a total collapse of the world. It was not even the Russia who started with all this stuff. Putin was ambitious, but he would never succeed without Kaczynski. He would never succeed without the Duda Moraviecki and these politicians. So now, if they can do it, then we can do it too. And so what happened is, everybody lied. The stuff they were doing in the Poland was so schizophrenic so violent that it did not matter whatever the hell they were doing. And they incited them to do stuff like this. It did not matter what the Germans were doing on a global stage. The war they were doing in Poland, in, in my opinion, this is in agreement with the Germany. Because it's just in 2017, it was a German pharmacist who told me, who came from Belarus with me, he met me there. He was involved in MK Ultra. He was one of the early people here in Poland, one of the earliest people who came to Poland. He met me in Brest, then we would go together with a bus. Got down in Warsaw. Actually, both did. I transferred to another, he stayed in Warsaw. We work very close together. We're like a one. We work like one together. We work together. It's like a one. It's like a one country. Well, you know, I am extremely skeptical, suspicious person, and without absolutely facts in my hands, I will not go and settle for any kind of matter, for that matter. No way. But the stuff alone I have gone through here in Poland that involved the Buckingham Palace, that involved the Berlin issues, they did not mind here in Poland to actually suggest that they are behind it. That they are actually paying for it. They did not mind this stuff because when you're in Poland, you bitch against them. Like I said, Great Britain is so censored that the news from my news site is not even uh, accessible to the British public. They don't even know about this case because of this, because the Buckingham Palace sealed the Great Britain completely out of reality. They don't know nothing, British people, what goes on. And for the most part, I believe we don't even know what goes on with them over there. We don't know about each other what goes on. And as long as you scream it's a British, it's a German in Poland, they'll fucking kill you. They're not going to spare you even a little bit. They don't care. Think about it. The methods that they use, and I'm talking about European Union, are worse than the one in the Soviet Union. They are worse. This is worse than Soviet Union. This is asylum on open. If you go for a walk, you're not going to get sleep because the police officer is going to dig you. They watch every step you do. You're not going to get sleep. If you're going to start to eat good, you're not going to sleep. They already do something that will drive you nuts so that your routine, life routine, is not going to be like a normal routine. That's pretty much when, based on the whole thing, whatever went. You get life on track, they already do a million things. You go and complain to the police. You write the letter 12 hours. You build the letter several days in different language to give the police like you're supposed to. Nobody give a F about you. doesn't matter what they do to you. Because for everything they have done, they have hidden themselves behind Great Britain, behind Germany, behind other countries, behind the U.S., behind Trump. Everything that was done in Poland. So I'm going to tell you that Poland is a Soviet Union. This is a Soviet Union inside of the Soviet Union called European Union. Sorry, I got uh, eardrums completely busted. You already know why.
So this is a real Polish politic. What happened to the Lake Valencia, I was reminded by Slovenian president, uh, now Slovenian president on, I don't know how many occasions he was throwing me up front this issue under MT Ultra. What I did, what kind of stuff I did, what have I done? And Milan Koch and Uncle Milan Koch, who was also involved in MT Ultra, he was different. He had a different approach. He was smiley about it. He said, you know, it's a uh, Uncle Valencia, it's just like this in Poland. We don't agree with this stuff, but it's in Poland to give him something in like this. How was it in apartment? I think it was apartment. It was not even a house. I'm pretty sure it was, I think it was, one was house and another was an apartment. And Mr. Valencia, loud, fucking loud. The man is screaming all the time, talking loud like you wouldn't fucking believe. And so I was not even in interested in his daughter. I'm a quiet person. Now I'm affected with directed energy weapons to the point where you don't get enough sleep, that you have to talk and convince yourself to go on, to go on, to go on. You drag yourself. Other than that, I'm extremely quiet like a mouse. So fucking loud that I would not I, I, I didn't want to have nothing to do with this. This is how it was. When it comes to Lake Valencia's son, one time he came a little in my throat, life threatened me about the money. Again, it was about the money and this and that. Look, Lake Valencia alone got the police restrained against him. And he apologized for me for that. I don't know what happened to him. It's a million things that can happen to you. You can go to work in the Belarus. The only thing I wanted to eat was a Snickers. And I was told this is going to be the case. What they put inside of your food, what they put you inside in there, the chemicals, you have no idea what they can do to you. They can make you drink alcohol. They can compel you to drink, eat, consume drugs, whatever it is. It might not even be your DNA. It might not even be anything wrong with you. It might not even be million things you think. You have no idea the world we live in. This is not a world that is just portrayed to you like it was like 50 years ago. This is a different factors that play the game now. It's a different things. You develop the taste for something in fact, you might never ever get rid of it because of who knows what kind of issues they can involve inside. That's why I say it's better to stay away from certain things, not even try them. This body, it's like a computer. We computerize, we memorize absolutely everything we do, feel, consume, and you never know. You never know. I know a lot about the Lake Valencia. This is not the video against Lake Valencia. If I ever get through this deal, I want to award Lake Valencia. I want to award him for his presidential pay. Because I believe, in my personal opinion, that he was entitled to another presidency. In my views, he was entitled. I have not seen something that he would have done throughout his presidency that would affect views of the Polish people to the point that they would feel that he did something God knows what, at least I'm not aware of it, that he would have to stand down, that he would not get enough support or whatever the case would be. He stood up for the psychologist I mentioned too, when she was squeezed against the wall and he did stood up for some other people as well. He was out there, diddle, 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 yes. He was out there for the people. I cannot think about myself only and reject the notion that individual is, what he have done is a crime. This is the most severe crime. But the people like Donald Trump, the people like Bill Clinton, the people like Kaczynski, Duda, Morawiecki, 
this cannot come this actually the stuff they have done this kind of stuff can actually not not compare in any of that Kwasinski throughout his presidency he served for two terms he had Duda and Morawiecki running the whole thing in the background. It was not. It was not only that this would be like under Kaczynski or something like this. He had them around. The, this these people would be running everything in the background, all the operations, everything. And these are extremely violent, derogatory, humiliating operations. That's all I want to say about the Polish politic. Impressive enough. I was brought here to this residence and reminded again about my discriminating leg Valenza. And in fact, individual here in this household, a lot of people in Poland involved in this case, maybe most of them are like a representative of leg Valenza. The position in Zgierz conditioned me with the pay of compensation, discrimination compensation to Lake Valenza. And I will. He'll pay me for discrimination. I'll give him the pay for loss, for the financial loss he suffered during the five years. We can arrange this. This is not a problem. And in case I would not, that he would turn against me and it would be nothing in this index. This individual, right there, and it's Gersh, the physician, the one that lied about my spine, who was involved in MK Ultra, this is one of the firmest supporters of Lech Valencia. We have Lech Valencia right here in this place here, strong supporters of Lech Valencia. We have this stuff going on. Not that these people would be worse than a fascist, a Nazis, a Berlin, a Buckingham Palace. This is not the case. This is just not the case, but they're not any better either. The difference with, between the two is none. If you look at the neo-Nazi and you look at these people here, you look at both according to their deeds, you're going to see that the difference is none. There is no difference. The more that violence seized in the United States, the more the violence increased in Poland. And I think, for that matter, that Polish politic is completely in line with the European neo-Nazi politic. It takes someone, it takes someone to take the picture in a direction that, and it takes a lot of line, it takes a lot of violence beatings, all kinds of humiliations to get it done so beautifully like Poland did, so elegantly. The country where the difference between so-called opposition and hell, I don't know, 300 parliamentarians, whatever, in this same, whatever they have here in Poland, is none. None of these people inside of the parliament, inside of the same, would be a person that would not know about this case. Yet they all are silent. They all are waiting for this thing to go. And nothing ever happens. They faked all these landlords, whatever it was. Whichever landlord it was, it was all based on a super, super, super abuse. Physical, psychological abuse. Most heavy abuse you possibly can imagine. And if you will say this, if you will say that, if you will say that, and we are all connected with one another. And if you will say against one, there will be none that will confirm your case. And then you have a Duda rapping his song and stuff like this. Hold yourself. They are fighting a thick fog. It's Anglo-Saxons and so on when they are in fucking bed with the Clinton and with all the Nazi politics in the US and Berlin and everything you possibly can imagine. All right, folks, thanks for watching this video. I want you to understand the Poland from the real point of view. Whichever way blind blows, wind blows, it could be this way, it could be Obama way. Oh, they had Obama here too. They brought Obama here too. He also had a doppelganger from Obama who did some very indecent acts in front of me and all kinds of stuff. It was all kinds of, you know, that, that back gate.
issues from Donald Trump, Bugagate, Bugagate, those kind of stuff. All kinds of subliminary stuff. Uh, Obama, in my opinion, was the only US president. And if anyone would replace him, that would be basically Dwayne Johnson. And it would be maybe Mrs. Harris in California, watch yourself of your husband. Alexandra Cortez Ocasio, this is the kind of people I would go for. Uh, there were also a few people, white people that completely surprised me, that really came out in support of black people, in support of huma uh, Hispanic people, that I'm completely shocked out of it. But definitely there was one person that had nothing to do with this, all this crap. That was myself who know on which side was, and most importantly, who knows on which side he is. That's all. Today, again, is June the 15th of 2020. There is nothing more to add to this stuff. Nothing to add to this stuff. Um, yes, I completely agree. It's extremely important to involve Democrats into a business deals. But unfortunately, in this process, the cream, the neo-Nazi cream already have stolen whatever possibly could be stolen. And I'm afraid they are about to steal the humanity now in the U.S. too. Because the humanity must not for settle than less than a dignity is. The humanity must insist on a clean principles. So the society can be regulated and not manipulated through abuse. I see that this relationship between minorities in the U.S. and the whites, so-called whites, they are actually Nazis. These are not any kind of whites. It's like a relationship between psychiatrists, abusive psychiatrists, and patient. Patient in parentheses. They're handled with a fear, with a terror, with abuse. And it's international society that come, must come to the rescue, and it's up to us, especially someone like myself who is outside of the U.S., to insist depicting United States of America for what it is, for the Buckingham Palace for what it is. They have procalculated Donald Trump is going to go. I'm going to tell you this. All true, it's very dangerous because the people we have could take the country even to for the worst extreme. But I still think that the worst extreme is better than to fool in the people and develop the picture further down the road. Because the worse it gets developed like this, the worse the picture gets the less chance the people have, the humanity have to resolve this issue. We have to stand up for the truth. We have to condemn in the US politic. We have to stand up against this, point out about what goes on in the US. We have to recognize, I have American citizenship, a slave certificate, because this is all America ever gave me. And I still feel obligated that as a human being, I have something that I owe to these people in the US that something has to be done about this stuff, that we have to reach out to them, that we have to stand up for one another because, you know, without the US in the World War II, I wouldn't even be doing this movie. I would not exist here. You wouldn't be watching this movie. And this is what Soviet Union took away from humanity. It must not turn extreme in any way we must help another help one another like a human beings june 15 2020 this is what i did oh to everybody in poland to understand who did what how the poland started and all those other discriminations that they took in mounted for whom it was important to depict me as somebody as racist discriminatory and stuff like this at no time in the United States of America ever have I discriminated a single act of discrimination against absolutely anybody. And that's no less than 13 years.